Feeling the pinch of those NAR commission fee changes? Don't fret, agents. Today, we'll unlock a powerful strategy to combat declining fees, attracting investor buyers. We'll show you why they're your secret weapon from consistent deals to higher closing rates. Imagine a steady stream of qualified leads bypassing lowball offers and endless negotiations. Investor buyers bring cash to the table, closing deals faster and boosting your bottom line. Plus, we'll reveal how to find these leads for free without breaking the bank. Tune in and learn the secrets to attracting investor buyers, turning them into loyal clients, and thriving in a new market landscape. We're going to work through four steps in order to acquire investor buyer leads. First, get the leads to a CSV file, market to these leads, provide value to these leads, and analyze deals for these leads. Why should agents focus on investor buyer leads? Commissions have changed in the landscape of real estate agents on both the buy and the sell side. Commissions have started to minimize. One way to combat that is working with investor buyers for four reasons. Investor buyers can be repeat buyers for consistent income. These are people who may be looking for, say, financial freedom, or they're doing this full time as fix and flippers. They're looking to build income and likely make multiple purchases. So you can be their agent across several different properties rather than just one for, say, a first-time home buyer. Second, investor buyers can unlock new income streams. You could also charge fees for market research, property management commissions, and creative deal equity ownership. Imagine someone in your network is looking to sell their property, but they're not comfortable putting it on market. You can work through an off-market deal with an investor buyer and take some equity or a percentage for bringing that lead to them. Third, investor buyers are relatively easy leads to locate via real estate data sources. So we can find who has already purchased the property, whether they currently live in it as their primary or secondary, and if they're likely an investor buyer. You can also to Facebook groups that are specific for real estate investors or out-of-state investors and find them there too. Fourth, investor buyers are lower competition leads than traditional buyers. The traditional buyer pool, like first-time home buyers, has a bunch of agents serving them. However, investor buyers are starved to have more agents in their space that can help them with local knowledge and analyzing deals. How do we find these leads? There are several real estate APIs, including Real Estate API, that provides information on property owners. Real Estate API has different endpoints, like getting details on a property, property search, comparables, using Prop GPT, skip tracing, and more. Whether you are a programmer or not, that is besides the point. I will be able to provide you this list for free once you get to the end of this video, but I just want to show you where the data is coming from. So within property search, you can search for properties in many different ways. So you can look for all properties within a given city, and you could also look at when properties were listed, information about a neighborhood, and owner information. Now you probably are really familiar already of getting off-market leads, like people who recently went through a divorce, absentee owner, and so on. Well, they have this also for owners, who are investor buyers too. So if I actually search here in the docs for this API, we could see investor buyer. Signals that the property was cash purchased by an absentee owner investor rather than an individual like the cash buyer flag. So I'm going to quickly walk you through how the data would be extracted and then show you how you can market to this lead as well. We're looking at Google Collab. It is a Python notebook environment where you don't have to have Python installed on your machine we can program just using a web interface. Now, if you don't know programming, that's okay. I just want you to see the output of what we're retrieving so you'll understand the full flow of the data. So first I'm importing several packages that we're going to use. Then I have here my real estate API key. So if you're new to APIs, they're a programmatic way to send data rather than using spreadsheets. It's usually through a JSON object. The real estate API is a fee in order to use on a monthly basis. However, I am here entering my API key. There are other API resources you could use as well. This is just my preferred one. Here, I am making a request. I wanna specify all the properties that are in the US, which ones I want to be able to obtain to get those buyer investors. 
So I have some initial parameters, which we'll skip for now. And I'm going to filter down and imagine I'm an agent in Orlando, Florida. So I want to look at the city of Orlando. I'm going to look at single family residencies. And I want to make sure that I'm not looking at new construction properties because there's a high likelihood that those are second homes and not actually rentals. We want to find investor buyers, people who are going to make repeat purchases. Investor buyers are looking to buy in areas that are affordable and they can have a larger tenant pool. So I'm going to look at around the median house price here, which is about 500,000 or last I checked on Redfin was 400K. And if you want to check on Redfin yourself, you can click this link. Redfin provides data on a regular basis of information on housing market trends per market, which you could search for other markets. And they have information like how competitive the market is, as well as even migration trends of who is moving to a city or moving away from a city. Going to the owner details, we want to see that the property owner has at max 10 properties that they've owned. Now, this is going to change based on who your investor buyer is. If you're looking at fix and flippers, for example, they may have more properties within their portfolio that they may also have just held and then manage as well. I'm personally looking for that working individual who is looking to build portfolio over time and maybe doesn't have the time to do market research on their own. So it could be really useful for them to have an investor buyer agent that has that local knowledge and can provide them the insight into their market. I'm looking for properties that have been owned for at least one year. This is a good sweet spot to be able to find people that recently purchased. And I'm putting corporate owned as false. So I want to see individuals, not a corporation, which could be your strategy. If you want to go towards an LLC, you may get even more purchases. However, my assumption is that they may already have an agent that they work with. Now, when it comes to the owner themselves, I'm looking at two main things. Either they are out of state owner. So maybe they own a property in Orlando, Florida, but they live in New Jersey. Or they're an absentee owner, meaning that is not their main home, not their primary. So by having all of these filters, this helps us to narrow down on the subset of people who are likely investor buyers that we can market to. So when I run this, there are 84 properties in total. And it comes out in this JSON object that looks a little bit jumbled. So what I do next is I iterate. So I go through each of these properties and I just take the features that I care about owner first name, last name, how many properties they own, and so on. I then put it into a tabular format, which we see here. It's called a data frame. It has rows and columns. We have an owner first name, last name. They own four properties. They recently purchased one a little less than a year ago, so September of 2023. How much equity they have, year built of that property, and they've owned it for less than a year their address of the property, and then the mailing address. So what are the next steps from here? We have 86 investor buyers that are likely individual owners and have recently bought in this area from the last year. We know this is not their primary home. And we have their mailing address. We could either try to skip trace this owner and get their phone number and text them, or we can maybe send them a mailer. As an investor, receive a lot of texts on trying to purchase my property. Now, it would be way more refreshing if I received an email, a text, or a mailer, not asking to buy my property, but helping me with my next one. So here's an example of a mailer that you could send. You could say, unlock hidden gems in the Orlando real estate market. Hey, and I'll use my name, Ariel, congratulations on consistently growing your investment portfolio. As an investor-friendly agent here in Orlando, I wanted to connect to help you find the right deals. And then you could basically go into more detail of why it would be beneficial to work with you. And you may be thinking, well, if they already purchased a property, don't they have an investor-friendly agent? The funny part here is that so many investors, myself guilty, when I go to find my first property, I'm so excited that I just skip through calling a list of agents and I just go with whoever is on Zillow. Usually when that has happened in markets that I'm new to, I have not found the results that I liked to continue to learn about the market. It's usually just a transaction and done. So by positioning yourself as an expert and not just someone who will help with a transaction, you could really be ahead. 
here, instead of asking someone, hey, I want to do business with you, you can instead offer something for free. So you could say, I offer a free monthly newsletter with data-driven insights on Orlando's real estate market performance. Wow. Now this would be super useful for someone who is also out of state. If we look here, there are a lot of people where their mailing address is actually not Orlando. So they likely live in other areas like Greenville, South Carolina, in New York, Keyport, New Jersey, and so on. So you could be their boots on the ground person to help offer free monthly data-driven insights. And this could be relatively easy to put together. I put this together in Canva in less than 30 minutes. And if I wanted to have this going forward, it would just be slight tweaks to the numbers. So here I have this made up example where it's a flyer that says market analysis for Orlando. I have the median price, which I got from Redfin, median rent from Zillow. These are made up numbers. And then days on market, say from realtor.com. You can offer, say, your featured listing, whether it's your own or maybe you're helping someone else with their featured listing or one that you think could be a good property to invest in, and then have some sort of review. In this example, I put the Orlando market is still a seller's market with low inventory and a decrease in days on market. This has driven listing price increases. Rental prices are remaining flat. This would be a good time to monitor month over month changes. So in just a couple of simple steps, you are positioning yourself as an expert. You get someone for free on your mailing list or your email list. And now you're top of mind whenever they're looking to buy their next purchase, which for investor buyers usually is within some sort of six month to 18 month time frame. Now, one of the questions you may have is, oh man, I understand my market. I get that I can pull data points, but how do I help these investor buyers analyze deals? Old school methods, you would need to pull up different spreadsheets and try to bring in data from all these different websites. No longer. You could use Coffee Closers, which we have a free plan with agents that use our partner program. Here, you'll be able to research properties. So in this example, I was looking at a property in Ocala where I can see a map, neighborhood grade map of this area. Now, if an investor sends you a deal, for example, and you want to analyze it for them, you can pull it up here, but we'll show you multiple rent estimates, multiple property value estimates. You can quickly let them know, oh, your target is cash on cash return of 5%. Well, you'll need to be right around 40K under asking, but there is an opportunity here. We see add a bedroom. This property has three beds, two baths, 2,000 square feet. There's likely some sort of extra space we could potentially add a bedroom to. It's also been on the market for a very long time, which means there could be issues or there could also be an opportunity to lowball. Your investor may ask, okay, but how do I know this is in a good area? Well, what you could do is provide information on the neighborhood score. As well, you can provide comps either through your MLS or using our comps as well, using our run comps feature. But overall, it allows one single platform for you to communicate these deals, provide data automatically and build trust with your client. So at this stage, you're probably asking, awesome, I wanna start targeting investor buyers. They're hired to convert, a lot of opportunities for multiple streams of income, and they're easy to find. How do I get my hands on this data? Or right at the below of this notebook, which is in the link in the show notes, click here to book time with me. I'm a data scientist, so the way I work is being able to listen to customers, to clients, to what your current problems are, so I can build better things for you. So what I'd love to do is sync for 20 minutes. I'll learn a little bit more about the market that you support, what data you need, provide you the leads, and also I'll give you a quick overview of the partner program. Agents, if there are other types of leads you want to find fast or marketing materials, please let me know in the comments below.